Assalamualaikum dear students. I welcome you all here to Allama Iqbal Open University Studios. I hope you all are well and enjoying your health. And the topic that we have selected for today is past perfect continuous tense. And to learn more about this topic, I welcome our expert Mr. Arshad Mahmood. Assalamualaikum sir. Waalaikum salam. How are you doing? Fine, thanks a lot. I want to learn much about this topic, past perfect continuous tense. Pretty long name. Yes, and if you look at the name, you will learn a lot right in the beginning. Past means the action has, the time that is, has taken place. Yes, that is in the past. Perfect means it will take either have, has or had, but since it is past, it must take had. had. Good. And continuous shows that the verb that is going to be used, the main verb will be in ing form. ing form. So I think I should start formally. Yes. Thanks a lot. Right, dear learners, this tense is, uh, I think, quite easy. Uh, this tense, uh, the past perfect continuous, is used for an action that began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that time. Or we use this tense to talk about longer actions or situations which had continued up to the past moment that we are thinking about or shortly before it. Right. If you look at the form, look at the form of this tense, mm -hmm. it is had been, mm -hmm. been must be there because we need ing form. Right. First of all, had and then been. Okay. Been, why? I keep on explaining these things because people should know these technical things. In exam, they can score higher if they have these parts in mind. You know, been is the third form of be. be. And why third form? Because had okay. demands a third, third form. form. Like people have got certain, uh, they keep certain conditions for certain things. So these verbs also, they put certain conditions. conditions. Had says, if you want to use me, bring me the third form of be the verb right. uh, and it can be the third form of verb main verb or be the third form of be is b w -E n been it is pronounced been it is spelled b w -E n but been uh, also shows sorry for interruption been also shows the continuity of uh, uh, action that has been Depen taken. yeah it depends on the next okay. verb okay. that shows continuity now look at uh, been how to pronounce it Many Pakistani people or uh, non native speakers of English, they will say been, he has been. But in fact, if you listen to foreigners, they will say, like, ben. if you listen to native speakers, they will say, ben. been. He's been working hard. Uh, so the first thing is had, second thing is been, ben. third thing is ing form, form of, of the main verb. Okay. Good. So been here and had here, they are playing the role of helping verbs, okay. or what we call auxiliary verbs. Okay. I, I would like to give you some examples. Uh, you had been waiting there for more than two hours when she finally arrived. Now, you know what has happened here in this tense? Mm -hmm. Two actions have taken place. Right. Number one, action where she had, for example, she, let's say Zara. Zara had been waiting there. What happened? When she finally arrived. And then what happened when she arrived? She did not have to wait anymore All because right. she had arrived. No? One action stopped and then the, the other uh, one. Interruption of, yeah, one action stopped the, the other action that had been going on for a long time right. or some time in the past. Right. Uh, should I like, uh, can you make uh, negative, for example, the sentence which I gave, you had been waiting there for more than two hours when she finally arrived? Um. Try. If I, if I put not in the formula, basic formula, good. it's like had been. Had not been. Not takes place between had and been. Yes, it okay. should be between okay. had and been. So you, you had not been waiting not there been. Yes. till the time she arrived. Yes. Okay. You know, it's a very crucial, uh, crucial issue. Uh, that's why I asked you to place not okay. somewhere. Uh, you know, many Pakistanis, they, they can't decide where to put 
not. And there is one technical point. Not is always put after the first verb. Right. If there are, for example, three verbs after the first. first. If two, after the first. first. There's a formula. Right. So you had not been waiting there for more than two hours when, when she, she finally, finally arrived. arrived. Negative, I hope, is clear. And we'll move to interrogative. Right. And the formula for interrogative is we bring had to the beginning. As we've been doing uh, for a long time, we've been changing different tenses into interrogative uh, form. Here, the sentence, actual sentence was, you had been waiting there for more than two hours when she finally arrived. Right. Question form can be? Had you been waiting there? Had you been waiting there for more than two hours when she finally arrived? Two actions taking place. Right. One that was going on, had been going on, okay. and was interrupted and was stopped because of the next, next action. action. It's very important to keep in mind. Right. Now, we, can, we use the past perfect continuous to show that something started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. For five minutes and for two weeks are both durations which can be used with the past perfect continuous. We can use other durations too. Right. Uh, this is just an example. Yes, just an example. Okay. Notice that this is related to the present perfect continuous. However, the duration does not continue until now. It stops before something else in the past. I would like to explain this. In present perfect continuous, what happens? An action started in the past, mm -hmm. continued for a long time, or maybe for a short time, and it is continuing up to present time, right. and may continue Till future. in the future. Okay. One example of uh, present perfect continuous tense is, I have been waiting here for one hour. Right. It means I'm still waiting. You started waiting uh, one hour one back. Hour. Yes. And you're still, and still waiting, waiting. And you don't know for how long you are going to wait. Right. You're right. Okay. Now look at uh, examples for this tense. They, had been t uh, they have been talking for over an hour before Tony arrived. So here, action started in the past, was stopped in the past because Tony... The second action took place. Yes. Second action okay. took place. Tony arrived. One more example. She had been working at that company for three years when it went out of business. What happened? The company became bankrupt right. and she had to leave her job. Okay. But before that she had been working. Right. Right. You know, by the way, uh, act, people often ask this question. Students ask me, what's the difference between working at the bank and working in the bank? This is such a confusing question and I still cannot answer. Yes. Can you answer? Try. I don't think I so. I believe some of them can do. When I say he works at the bank, my focus is on the activity of the bank, okay. like what sort of work uh, goes on in a bank. Or if I say he is, let's say, at school, my, my focus is on uh, learning, mm -hmm. teaching, Activities all the things. Activities related Activity. to this. Okay. But when I say in the bank or in the university, my focus is on the physical boundary, okay. building. Okay. For example, if I say he is at the mosque and he's in the mosque. If he's at the mosque, he's praying. Good. And, and in the mosque? In the mosque, he might, he's be, he's might be painting carpenter. the walls. You're or? right, you're right, you're right. Good. Now, I'll give you one sentence. How long uh, had you been waiting to get on the bus? Right. Uh, apparently, it seems to be sort of incomplete sentence. Or some of them might feel it is a complete sentence. But if I say, how long had you been waiting uh, on the bus? It simply means before the bus arrived. arrived. And then your long wait was over. Okay. It means sometimes we can use uh, this sort of uh, sentence without since or for when was the context this, uh, is sorry clear. Sorry for interruption. Was this a proper past perfect continuous uh, sentence? Yes, but usually there are two, two, okay. two parts. Right. One part is simple past. Mm -hmm. You know, remember uh, the sentence. I had been waiting, or you had been waiting there uh, for a long time when she, she arrived. arrived. Now here, if I say, how long had you been waiting to get on the bus? There There's is no second action. action. Because it is in the context clear that two people uh, are talking to each other, and this sentence means... The bus has uh, already arrived. He Yes, he took the bus. and Maybe they are in the bus, bus and they are talking about it. Yes, yes, you're right. One more sentence. Ajmal wanted to sit down because... He had been standing all day at work. Right. And when he sat? He was not at work anymore. Mm. That, like, the action was over. James had been teaching at the university for more than a year before he left for Asia. 
What was the action that interrupted his departure for, for Asia? He right. left for Asia that interrupted his teaching right. that had been going out for a long time. Right. The continuous uh, action had to stop because of the second action. Very good. S action started in the past, continued up till some time until another action came interrupted. in, interrupted and right. stopped that action. Right. One more example. How long had you been studying Turkish before you moved to Ankara? Studying so, in Turkish, Turkish was a continuous action. Yes, and, and before to moving to Ankara. He went to Turkey, right. but he was learning Turkey before going to Ankara. Turkey or Ankara. I had not been studying Turkish very long. No, this is the answer to the question. Okay. And that is why in the second one, when I say like the question was, how long had you been studying Turkish before you moved to Ankara? The answer is, I had not been studying Turkish very long. If you say I had not been studying Turkish very long in isolation, it may not give any sense. Mm -hmm. But it is linked with the first, question. that is a question. Right. Uh, dear learners, I believe this timeline that you can see in front of you on the screen is going to help you a lot in understanding this tense. You can see on the left side there is past tense and then present and then future. Now you can see an action, you can see that cross. An action started somewhere in the past and cross means it stopped. And how it stopped? I've told you when an action had been going on, it was stopped when another action interrupted it. And that action which interrupted it, uh, this action is always in the simple past tense. This timeline shows an action was going on and somewhere in the middle before the present. It means the action did not enter the present time and it was stopped before that. And I'll give you some examples uh, uh, regarding that will clear this idea. But this idea of timeline uh, is very, very uh, important, very crucial. It helps you understand all the tenses. Examples, Jason was tired because he had been jogging. It means of the action of jogging had been going on for a long time and because of that had been, he had been or he was tired. One more example, Sam gained weight because he had been overeating. Now, had been overeating shows that this action continued for some time. Started in the past, went on for some time, maybe let's say three months, four months, one year, two years. There's no specification. And then it ended or was stopped due to some other action. One more example, Kamran failed the final test because he had not been attending classes. I hope you're getting the idea now. I know there is a contention like uh, confusion between past continuous and past perfect continuous. If you do not include a duration such as for five minutes, for two weeks, or uh, let's say since Friday, many English speakers choose to use the past continuous rather than the past perfect tense, past perfect continuous. Be careful because this can change the meaning of the sentence. Past continuous emphasizes interrupted actions, whereas past perfect continuous emphasizes a duration of time before something in the past. I'll give you some examples. He was tired because he was exercising so hard. You can see the sentence on the screen. This sentence emphasizes that he was tired because he was exercising at that exact moment which you're talking about. And the second sentence that you can compare with this one is he was tired because he had been exercising so hard. This sentence emphasizes that he was tired because he had been exercising over a period of time. Here the focus is on the duration might be one month, might be one year. It is possible that he was still exercising at that moment or that he had just finished. Dear students, I would like to remind you that you've got to note all the formulas and examples for yourself. And this is going to help you to learn the things easily and for a long time. It's good that you've been asking people to write these things and I think uh, it's the only way to remember for a long time. I know. But I think I should test you. Sure. Do you remember the formula? I think. How will you make a positive sentence? Right. It's like uh, the subject. Good. Then had. Good. Then been. Good. Then verb with its ing form. And Good. then the object if required. Good. Is she right? Good. She's right. Thank you. Okay. Negative. 
Negative, it's a little difficult. Um, it's like um, subject. Good. Then had. Good. Then not. Good. Then been. Good. Then verb with its ing form and then if object is required. Very good. Can we use not after been? Or it must be after had? It must be after had. Good. Because it is a first, first verb. verb. We'll move to uh, something uh, slightly different now. Uh, that there are some verbs in uh, English language which can't be used in ing form. ING form. Right. And we have to be very careful. It is important to remember that non-continuous verbs cannot be used in any continuous tenses. Also, certain non-continuous me uh, meanings for mixed verbs cannot be used in continuous tenses. Instead of using past perfect continuous with these verbs, you must use past perfect, perfect tense. tense. I'll give some examples. Right. The motorcycle had been belonging to George for years before Tina bought it. That's wrong. Yes. Why? Because Belong is not a continuous verb. We can't use it in handy form. Uh, the other, like, uh, and the, the, the best way is, what's the right sentence then? The motorcycle had belonged to George for years before Tina bought it. Right. That's this is the, the perfect correct. form. Yes, that is a perfect form. Right. We can't use continuous form here. Right. Now, uh, we talk about adverb placement, how to use adverbs. The examples uh, which I'm going to give you show the placement for uh, grammar adverbs such as always, only, never, ever, still, just, etc. Right. You had only been waiting there for a few minutes when she arrived. Only. Only, in fact, here is uh, the adverb which is emphasizing the time duration. Okay. And what is that? Only for a few minutes. Right. And had you only been waiting there for a few minutes when she arrived? This is a question. And the emphasis is again on the duration. Right. Now, the problem uh, with this tense is number one, using the verb into in, in, in continuous form, mm -hmm. people uh, like they sometimes they might use it in a non-continuous form. For example, okay. he had been do. I've while checking certain essays and applications, I've come across this sort of mistake committed by many Pakistani students. Okay. The other thing is that sometimes people form a sentence mm -hmm. in this tense, past perfect continuous, okay. and they stop it without okay. without adding the 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 other action which interrupted okay. for example if i say they, they keep this sentence incomplete yes okay for example i cannot say uh, yesterday um, i had been uh, taking lunch for one hour no mm -hmm. that is so so yes. incorrect we can we can have for example you can, we can say yesterday i took lunch for Enough. one hour okay. that is like uh, the past simple tense here if i say yesterday i had been taking or i had been eating my lunch for one hour when one of my friends came in. Okay. What happened? Because Action of that? Stop and Action stop. Okay. Stop. In this uh, uh, tense, the focus should be on the very name of the tense. Past perfect continuous. continuous. Remember, you cannot use has, you cannot use have, because they both belong to present. present. Number two, perfect means it must be had. No other option. Right. Has, ha, ha, have gone because of Because it's there. past, so there is yes. no has and have. It, it must be perfect means it restricts to had. had. Okay. And then continuous. Continuity of action is shown in English with the help of ING. ING. In Urdu, we show the same idea with Raha Raha hai, rahi hai. Hai. You know what happens? There is a, a big problem when we uh, start translating sentences from our mother tongue to the other into language. Other language. Okay. Here, in this case, English. What happens? In English, if I say, it had been raining, mm -hmm. it had been raining for a week when something happened and the sky okay. was clear. Okay. In Urdu, what, what happens? What do we say? Bohut dino se barish ho rahi thi when something happened. Okay. And same mistake is committed in present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous, we say, for example, it has been raining since morning since must be used and when since is used it means we must use have or has but in Urdu we say subha se barish it, it, it remains the same yes ho rahi hai continuous mm. if we translate this sentence and this is what we do many learners they say it is raining since morning mm -hmm. that is not that correct is uh, this tense takes two uh, actions one for long time that started in the past 
continued for, for, some, for time. some time. Maybe uh, when I say some time, it may mean years. Ages. Yes, for example, uh, the Roman Empire or the Roman people had been ruling different parts of the world before they were defeated by the Vikings. And that Vikings. was a pretty long time. Yeah, and if you look at the rule, it was uh, per perhaps it spanned over perhaps centuries. Or we can say... Uh, so the sum time is not defined. Yes, time here uh, doesn't mean only, let's say, a few hours. Or a few it minutes. can be days, it can be weeks, it can be months, it can be years, or sometimes even centuries, mm -hmm. the example which I have given you. Mm -hmm. uh, we can like uh, make many sentences with the help of this uh, a tense, don't fear, but in examination, if you think you may, you have got option between this tense and some other tense, then go for the one which you think you can write in a better way without a mistake. Mm -hmm. Because what happens in examination people, they just to impress the examiner, they go for long sentences and here they start committing mistakes. But anyway, in uh, I think in examination, in essay writing or in application writing, you don't need to use this past perfect continuous tense. But you should learn it in such a detail, in, in, with such an appropriate way that you should keep it in your mind for a long time. E exactly, for always. Because, be because this tense is just one, like uh, I would say, chip from the same block. I know. Like, you know, you, you must have seen uh, that jigs jigsaw puzzle. There's a picture, small pieces. If you take one piece out, the whole picture is, it's so ugly. Mm -hmm. If you want to write good English, if you want to speak good English, you must know all the tenses. And if you know all the tenses, you can simply maneuver from one side to the other. You can simply manipulate language, twist it according to your own and while learning, situation. Uh, sorry for interruption. While learning tenses, you should keep in mind the formula and the function. Everything that is um, being taught to you by Mr. Arshil, you should write it down and the then you should make your own examples. Yes, they're important. Uh, I think I should give them the summary of uh, what we've sure, done so far. Sure, it is required though. Yes. Number one, remember this is uh, the past tense. Number two, it takes had. Number three, it takes verb with ing, ing form. form. And it may take since and for, since or for according to the situation. This is one theme. The other theme is that this tense is usually used for two actions. One action that had been going on for some time, for a long time, for a short time. Still when, interrupted with the Yes, action. interrupted with another action. And if you follow these uh, things, these instructions, these guidelines, I believe you can become teachers even. Inshallah, and I believe that is surely going to happen. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the topic and you are going to learn a lot by this. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.